Here we are once again inside Carrera 8.5 Pro. Is this thing on? Yeah? Oh, okay. Introducing Rosie 5. Come on, Rosie. Come on. There she is. Adorable. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we call her Rosie 5 to keep with the newer Genesis naming conventions. So according to her name, we can tell that she's based on the first generation of Daz 3D's Genesis figure. But she is no ordinary Genesis 1 figure. In addition to using many of the Genesis Evolution morphs and other products that I bought for Genesis 1, I've used a lot of Legacy Victoria 4 and newer Genesis 2 shaping morphs with the help of Dimension 3D's Genesis Generation X2, which we call Gen X2 for short. Using Gen X2, I've added some shaping morphs from Victoria 4 Morphs Plus Plus, all of the expressions and some of the body morphs to help with movement, like breathing, for example. I've also added 15 expressions that come with the Girl 4, along with the 13 that came with V4 Elite Reby Sky, and a few shaping morphs that came with Stephanie 4. But most of Rosie's actual shape comes from Genesis 2 Female. Genesis 2 female base shape and all of the expression morphs that I've collected plus Gia 6, Ico 6, and Kiko 6 along with anything else that I thought might be useful. In the written tutorial on my website we'll also explore how I work from a minimalized list of Genesis morphs when I create the final character. This helps to keep the file size more efficient but even more important it keeps the parameters tab free from sliders that I know I'm never going to want to use. They just get in the way. Another major advancement for Rosie 5 is her new bigger and better hair. It took a bit of trial and error using all the advice I could get, especially from Carrera Forum member John Stark and his amazing video tutorials on the subject, but also valuable tips from Wendy Loves Cats, Phil W, Holly Wet Circuit, Evil Producer, 3D Lust, and more. This is Carrera's dynamic hair. Here I'm only showing the guide hairs so we can see how the simulation calculated. I'm using four separate hair sets to get this to work and instead of using a conformed proxy figure for the hair collisions, I'm using separate low polygon count shapes paired to, to different parts of the body as you can see here. I'm only using them where contact would mean a necessary collision, head, neck, arms, and torso. One could simply use sphere primitives for this, but I opted to model my own simple shapes so that I knew I was using quads. It seems that when we fit a conforming proxy to Genesis, the mesh turns into trigons, which doesn't always give the best results for dynamic hair. We can set the collision distance of the hair simulation. So we might think that I could simply do that to get the big hair that I'm looking for. Well, the problem with that is there ends up being too much empty space around her head, especially during most animation performances. So instead of changing the size and locations of various collision objects for each set of hair for each animation, I needed a more practical solution. For me, the solution is Carrera's physical forces. They're in here, but let's hide these collision objects so we can see all the forces I have parented to the rig. There we go. I've got several point forces in here. 
to keep them from obstructing my view as I work, I've scaled them way down and parented them to where they need to go and set their forces according to what I need them to do. This one in the middle pulls in while this one in the neck pushes out to create the shape of the hair, but that also requires that these three on the bottom are pulling down or the hair would just float outward. The bottom forces are also responsible for keeping the hair from being too dynamic. I explain more about how I use the forces for shaping and controlling dynamics in the tutorial on my website. To bring it all together, I'm again using Ideas 3 Plus for V4 and M4 by Arky, who is also available at Daz3D. These eye figures allow for more complete control over all of the various surfaces of each eye, both in shaders as well as shape, which is important to me, especially with this character. I've used Ideas 3 for my previous version and really liked them. So very recently, I decided to also try something I've been eyeing for a long time, an older Generation 3 product by Daz called Millennium Teeth. For some reason, probably because she's so tiny, I've always struggled with trying to get Rosie's teeth smaller. Daz3D started off making anatomically correct human diagrams for the medical profession, so who better to use actual dental reference material to create incredibly realistic teeth? It took some doing, which I'll explain further in an article on my website at dartanbeck.com. Basically, I ended up converting the conforming object into a prop dividing the upper and lower halves and fitting them and parenting them to Genesis, hiding the original gums and teeth. So there she is, the all-new Rosie 5. I'll be using this introduction as a launch pad for more tutorials, ideas, and showcases of more of my animation work, and also for the website I've been working on. The goal of all of this is to combine videos, written articles, and links to more information to help illustrate my adventures of creating fully CGI movies using Carrera 8.5 Pro, along with advice and tutorials regarding the other software I use to bring it all to life. Thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you all along the way.